Hello everyone and welcome to Network Labs. Today in this video, we will continue the different configuration of not in a Microtik router. In the previous video, we have mapped each LAN network to a specific one uplink or ISP. This is just a short continuation of the part two of this series and make sure to watch it. Now, we will configure a failover once the ISP of each LAN is down. For our task, if ISP1 is down, LAN1 network should traverse to ISP2. If ISP2 is down, LAN2 network should traverse to ISP1. To do this, the simplest way is to add new default route without a routing mark for each ISP. As you can see, we have two existing routes that we used in the previous video for mapping the two LAN network to their specific ISP. There is no failover for this setup. We need to add new default static route for each ISP to overcome this problem. Copy each existing route, then remove the routing mark. That's is all we need for this task. Let us verify and test the failover in the laptop. Currently, the laptop is connected to LAN 1. Ping to the internet is good and its primary link is via ISP1 based on the tracer route due to the routing mark and mangle rule. Now, let us disable the interface of ISP1 and check the result. The ping still good and the traffic went to ISP2 based on the latest tracer route. This is because of the new default route that we have added. Upon enabling 1-1 port, the traffic goes back to ISP1. Let us test the LAN2 network. Change the bridge port to LAN2, then renew the IP address of the laptop. The laptop is now connected to LAN 2. The primary path is via ISP2 based on the tracer route. Now disable 1 2 port and check the result. The connection is interrupted but went back immediately. The traffic is now via ISP1.
Upon enabling 1-2 port, the traffic reverted back to ISP2. That's all for this task. Both LAN 1 and LAN 2 networks are provided with failover link if either of their primary ISP is down or broken. I hope that this is informative to you and thank you for watching.